Well, that was dark. So The Boys is a new TV series now on Amazon Prime and this focuses on a group of vigilantes known as The Boys who set out to take down a corrupt group of superheroes owned by a corporation who abuse their superpowers. So The Boys is a new property on Amazon Prime and this new series is based on the comic book series of the same name or the graphic novel of the same name that being The Boys which is a very dark very very controversial graphic novel that has been around for a while now so this adapting kind of was a bit of a controversial topic. This was kind of one that people were not quite sure how they were going to take, also how Amazon were going to deal with it. It was quite a big controversial topic going into it. Me personally, I know nothing about the graphic novel. I've never read it. I've never even seen anything about it really until after I watched the show. My interest for the show came from the cast. Not only Carl Urban, but also more particularly Anthony Starr, who I'll talk more about later. But Anthony Starr was the lead in a show called Banshee, which for me is the best show I've ever seen in my entire life. So that alone had me excited for the boys. But then when I actually started to watch the show once it actually came out. I realized there was so much more to the show than just that. So the boys themselves as characters were extremely well handled because all of these characters really across the entire show, not just the boys themselves, really across the entire show, minus maybe one exception, are all incredibly unlikable people. All of these characters are just the absolute worst. All of these characters you don't want to root for because they are absolutely horrific human beings. And that is more particularly true, and especially true, when you talk about Carl Urban's Billy Butcher, who is played to a T by Carl himself. It's just, it's such a brilliant performance. He plays it so over-the-top British, which I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of British humour, and he brings that in spades with this role. But his character is so despicable that you just hate him but love him at the same time it's really difficult to explain you hate the character but you love the performance that's probably the best way to describe it but then you've also got like jack quaid who plays huey who's kind of like our main protagonist of the series he's really good i've never seen jack quaid before but he really impressed me in this series i loved his role as huey and again huey's maybe one of the only likable characters in the show truly even though he also does some questionable things uh, throughout the series but then you also have like mother's milk who was a great addition frenchy who i really liked and you also have the female as well who also provided a nice dynamic and a nice little extra to Frenchie as a character. I think all the boys, when you look at them all together as a group, they have a really good dynamic with each other. All the characters pretty much have history with each other, minus a couple, and it just creates a really nice dynamic and a really nice group for the show as our main base of characters. And then we have the Seven, which is a group of supers that basically the boys are trying to expose and take down. Now, the Seven were incredibly interesting. They are essentially a rip-off Justice League. You have a rip-off Wonder Woman, there's a rip-off Aquaman, Superman, Batman. They basically all have their own, you know, Justice League rip-off characters. And they were very interesting in the show because these characters just like the boys are the absolute worst. These people are just horrible. They are supers who just abuse their powers. They use it for their own personal gain. They do it for whatever reasons they may have. They have all their own slimy motivations that they use their powers to fulfill. And it's very, very disgusting, but very real to watch. Like, it's just very, very realistic in that way. All the characters who come into the Seven, I think, are extremely unlikable, except for, of course, Starlight, who is kind of the new member of the Seven and is also a protagonist for the series as well. She's probably the only character in the show who is fully likable and fully redeemable because she's the only one who actually is a decent person. Everyone else in this show is terrible. But I feel like the Seven themselves were incredibly interesting. You know, you have like A-Train, who's kind of the main motivation for Huey. He's kind of the Flash ripoff. He causes a massive tragedy to Huey early on in the series, and that is a big kicker for him. And then also Carl Urban's character has a massive beef with Anthony Starr's Homelander, who is the Superman ripoff, and you learn more about that as the series goes on as well. So all the seven have a really interesting connection to the boys, and I really enjoyed that, but also just watching them as their own people. They're ran by a corporation. So they are constantly doing things that will help build their brand and make them more of a product rather than a person. And that concept alone of them working for this kind of corporation known as Vought is incredibly intriguing to me and incredibly real to me. I thought that that was so well handled, especially in this common superhero landscape. We look at these things and I feel like, you know, if, super, if superheroes did exist in the real world, this is exactly what we would see. We would see corporations owning them, buying them and turning them into brands to make money off of them. And that's exactly what this series completely highlights. And I think it's so brilliantly written. And I mentioned him at the start, but I need to mention him again. He needs his own section, Anthony Starr absolutely knocks it out of the park. Again, I love Anthony Starr. He was the lead of Banshee. So when I heard he was getting another big role again on TV, I was really excited about it. And him as Homelander, 
might be the best performance of the show. It's just, it's absolutely groundbreaking, his performance. He is creepy, he's scary, he's also incredibly kind of likable at the same time, and he's also just an incredibly manipulative, very convincing character, and his performance just shines through. Anthony Starr, I forget how good of an actor he is. Like, you know, it's been a while since I finished Banshee, but... You know, I forgot how good of an actor he truly is, because when you see him as Homelander, it's just something else. It's unbelievably good, his performance, and I was absolutely blown away by it. He's by far the standout for me of this show so far, and I can't wait to see what they do with him in season two, especially where they ended with his character. His character was just so interesting, so intriguing. The more you learn about him, the more you begin to understand him, and not necessarily sympathize with him, but you begin to understand kind of where he's coming from and why he is the way he is. And that is an extremely interesting development that I'll leave you to uncover when you watch the series yourself. Now, you should know going into this show that it is violent as hell. This show is a hard R, it is dark, and it is unforgiving. You need to know that going into the show. And what I will say is, if you are going to watch the pilot of this series, definitely pay attention to the first scene of the show. The scene that kicks off the show is incredibly violent and incredibly shocking, and it's also incredibly darkly funny. And that's what the entire show is like. It's incredibly dark, but also darkly funny at the same time. And I recommend that you watch the first scene carefully. If you find that scene really dark, but then really funny, you will be on board for the rest of the show. If you are absolutely repulsed by this opening scene and you hate it and you don't like it at all, then just stop watching because you will not like the show because that is the way it goes. Because literally, I think the opening scene is the perfect taster to give the audience a good idea of what the show is going to be like. Like I say, if you enjoy that opening scene, if you find it entertaining and funny, you will be on board for everything the show has to offer. But if you do not like it, if you are put off by it, you should just stop watching there because it only gets worse from that point on. Overall, The Boys was just an incredible twist on the superhero genre that I feel like it is desperately needed. We are currently saturated in this genre, you know, with all these different superhero shows, both on Netflix, on the CW, we have all these massive superhero shows, and they all are beginning to feel a bit samey, but The Boys came in and said, no, we're going to completely subvert your expectations and do something absolutely incredible. I feel like this show has an incredible pace to it. It's only eight episodes, so it's a nice, easy binge. I got through this in a weekend, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I think that it does a really good job of handling that and I think that the pacing and the characters and the story is so engaging you will be just glued to your tv screen watching this and I feel like you know with the season two now filming already I cannot wait to see where this is going to go next I think it's going to be an incredible show going forward it's already Amazon's most popular show of all time so it's clearly going to go for a few more seasons at least so I'm incredibly excited about it and I think that this is the best show of 2019 so far so have you guys seen the boys if you have make sure you let me know all your thoughts about it in the comment section down below did you like it did you hate it let's have a conversation about the boys in the comment section down below and as always guys if you see more movie reviews tv reviews and movie tv related videos make sure you subscribe and i hope to see you guys again next time